Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya and today's video is truly for the ladies. If you want to be reminded of what a queen mentality truly is. Because we've been playing as clowns a little bit too much these days, ladies. I don't think we actually remember the true queen that is living within us because it is our birthright. In today's society, we've got these queens walking around as clowns and making a damn fool of themselves. And today we are going to be reminded of what a true queen really is. It all starts with her mind. I will not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, my beautiful queens. So I want to first allowing us to truly feel into our queen energy before we even start this video. We have to stop saying that we're queens, we deserve the best when we aren't even giving ourselves our best. I say everything today out of love, true care for us, ladies, okay, and men, all love. Now in today's society, we have gotten the word queen confused with clown. Listen, ladies, there is a lot of queens you may see online. What's their behavior like? Is it more so like a clown of them showing themselves to these dusty men behind a screen, knowing damn well they're only posting for validation, not for themselves, but for other people. True queen will never show herself online in a provocative way to gain male validation. It will disgust her and it will repulse her. Queens do not want attention from jokers. A queen stands firm in her own beauty, her own worth, her own value, and she validates that herself. She doesn't have to go outside of her castle, her inside castle, to gain that validation. Why would she do that? When she's got a full on throne to sit in, validating her queen. Her crown's a little crooked right now, ladies out in the media web. It really saddens me that we as women feel empowered these days by showing ourselves our beautiful, beautiful bodies online to strangers, thinking that it's for ourselves, but baby, Come on, it is not for ourselves. If it was for ourselves, we would do a full on love check without our phones. We would look ourselves in the mirror. Instead of going for a picture to snap to the gram, we would indulge in our own beauty. We would not need to post a single thing. We care so much about what other people think of us that we don't even question what we think of ourselves. And this is not what a queen mentality is or stands for. It is crucial to know that no amount of external validation will ever, and when I say ever, ever come close to the validation you can give yourself. When we can't give ourselves our own validation, we will have to look for it in external things, external people, external places. You have the key. You have the key to a palace within you. You have to know how to turn the lock to even open the palace door. We are all gifted with the key. It is in our pocket and we don't even know it. Next time you go to snap a pic, you go to post something on social media, question why you are doing it. Is there a specific outcome you are hoping for? Are you doing it in a way to gain male validation because it makes you feel empowered and wanted and worthy? Look into that. And the sooner you can look into that, the better. You guys, I have gotten to a point in my life, in my queenship, I actually had to delete Instagram because I did not give a shit about showing myself online. Why? You will get to a point, ladies, when you practice validating yourself instead of looking for validation in others, where even the simple thing of snapping pictures of yourself will become not compatible with you. 
And maybe that's not for everyone. It sure is for me. I used to feel really great. I used to actually think I was this, this sexual goddess last year when I was posting myself half naked, making it seem like I was doing a spiritual favor for the world and myself. And that was clown behavior. That was joker mentality. Now that I'm in my queenship, no, 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 no. Posting yourself, ladies, half naked in a provocative way, even if you are unaware of it, it's for validation. So we just really have to be aware of this. What can we do to validate ourselves? By showing up for ourselves, by speaking love into ourselves, by acknowledging the queens that we are. We need to break the line of joker behavior. Joker behavior is a joke. That's what a joker is. It's the greatest jokester of all. So much so, we'll make it seem like you are a queen. When you are finding yourself needing validation from others, not a queen. When you are not able to be with yourself and comfort yourself, and you always have to go look outside of yourself to feel good in this world, joker behavior. When you don't have a vision for your life, for your purpose, you don't have an outlet to express your creative feminine energy, do you have something that you're working towards for your life? I truly believe a queen is never bored. She always has something to improve on, always. Whether it be something creative, whether it be maybe up-leveling yourself, your internal state, your mental health, healing parts of yourself that maybe keep you entrapped in this lower energy. Can you up level into a higher frequency for yourself? What are you wanting out of this life? Are you wanting to be a mother? Are you wanting to leave a mark on this earth? All right, these are good things to know because a queen always has work to do. Always, she is in charge of her castle, her throne, her empire, her internal empire. I'll give you guys an example. Personally, I'm 23. I have claimed my queenship. And you guys are like, okay, I can claim my queenship. We have to do the things though to make us be in our queendom. We can't be the jokers and dress up as queens every day. Because inside of ourselves, we know that we're still jokers. We have to be real with ourselves. What I want out of my life is to be a great mother. That is a huge purpose of mine on this earth that I know. So what, what am I doing to be a great mother in my 20s when I don't even got no man or kids yet? I'm doing the self work on myself. I'm doing the self healing that it's gonna take for me to be the best mother I can possibly be in this life. And that is not by me damaging my soul through men who do not deserve me. That is not by me exposing my beautiful body online to men that do not deserve to see me. It is not by me going out and partying, doing drugs, drinking alcohol. That will not serve me and my purpose every day. I pray to my children. Every day I pray to my husband that they know that I am doing the work on myself for them. I pray that my husband's doing the self work on himself and the healing. I send them love energetically. I'm not saying you guys need to do this, but what can you do for your vision every day? How can you send some love to in that direction instead of self depleting yourself? What are your habits for yourself? A queen conscious woman never only thinks about herself. She thinks about the higher purpose of her life, of her mission here. And it could be being a great mother. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's being a dancer or, I don't know, writing a book, leaving some sort of mark on this earth. Can you do something every day for yourself to move yourself in the direction of purpose, passion for our earth? We as women are gifted with this creative energy that is connected to the cosmos by birthright. Being a creator woman, you can never disconnect from the creatorship within you. You have a womb 
where creation gets to form. What is in your womb right now? It doesn't got it doesn't got to be a child. It could be an endeavor you want to do. It could be writing a book. It could be learning more even just about yourself, holding yourself in your own creative womb of the vision you have for your higher purpose. And tending to that like a garden every single day. So there is going to be fruit that comes from your vision, from your intentional action that God has gifted you. But we need to know what we are deserving of, ladies. So if you find yourself in these little pathetic situationships, what are you doing with your life? Why are you doing that to yourself? Women, we are the prize. And I know there's a lot of weak men these days that are walking around thinking they're top shit and they are the prize of this life. Not how it works. God did not make a woman to chase the man. God made the woman to assist the man. We don't realize this because a lot of the times, ladies, we try to be men. We do. We try to really put our full force into the workforce. Even if you don't know it, it is depleting your feminine energy. Why it is so important, ladies, to discern a man that is capable of leading the relationship in a healthy manner, not only for yourself, but for your children, for the next generational line. This is what queens think about. They don't just think about, ooh, I wanna, I wanna live a selfish life. I wanna go lie out and see all these mans and get all their money. I wanna go buy designer stuff. I wanna make myself look like a queen when damn well I know mentality is looking a lot like a clown. Cause you get into relationships with women. I don't know if there's men in this chat or in this, in this video. The women that showcase themselves as this queen woman because she looks the part maybe? What's her mentality like? Does she only think about herself? She's so self-centered that she actually has children with these pathetic men who can't even give her the life that she desires or deserves. And then she has children with this man and this man can't even show up for his own children or her. We gotta cut it out, ladies. We gotta cut it out. Listen. We are all deserving of love. We are all deserving of being treated as royalty. We really are. But we really have to remember our own royalty. So much of the time, we walk around with a lot of unhealed parts. And from these unhealed parts, we attract people into our lives that are direct reflections of where we need to put more of our own attention to. Not chasing these, these people that in the end make you more broken. We have to stop. If you are single right now, you find yourself really wanting a relationship or feel like you constantly need validation. Please be consciously aware of why you do things and why you even want things because it could be coming from a place of lack. If it's coming from a place of lack within yourself, you will find lack within the other. It will deplete you because you are depleted. We have to pour in the abundance into ourself, you guys. We have to pour in the abundance of love, the abundance of, of value and worth and strength. We have to own up to every single choice that has brought us here today watching this video. We have to, we cannot play victim to our lives as queens. What a queen does is takes every wrongdoing whether it be by her doing or another person's doing, and she gets excited because she knows she can up-level herself through this lesson. Because everything in your life is a lesson for you to up-level yourself. Not to hold you captive in whatever you're, you may be going through or whatever mindset you have right now. Locking the doors on your own castle throne that you deserve to be in and stand firm in. A queen conscious woman, she tends to herself. She puts herself as her main priority because she knows if she is not her main priority, her castle will not be well maintained. And that's her job is to maintain it. She can validate herself 
And she doesn't need no joker telling her she's a queen because she already knows she's a queen. She doesn't need anybody to tell her that she's not or is. She works on her vision and her higher purpose. She uses any downfall as motivation to get back up again and not only to get back up again, but out of that downfall to up level into a higher reality. She uses it as the bouncing board to lift her up higher. She never uses anything that happens to her on the external as a reason to stay down. She uses it as the lesson that she needs to unlock another part in her castle. She knows how to discern a king from a joker. She will never be in any sort of situationship. Uh-uh. You gotta earn her trust. You have to earn the privilege to be with her. Now ladies, we cannot be saying that we're queens and sleeping with jokers. Being with jokers. That makes you a joker. A queen would rather run a castle by herself. She will wait patiently for her king. No queen will accept foolery in her life. If she sees any subtle signs of foolery, good day, goodbye. Mm -mm. Especially if you are doing that self-healing work on yourself, my loves, and you are self-validating yourself, you're loving yourself, you're seeing your worth, and you yourself have stopped acting like a joker of needing people validation, needing to go sleep around with men, getting boredom, and then getting yourself in messy situations, you, my dear, have every right to say no to a man that is not deserving of you. To stand firm in what you are desiring out of a man. And if he cannot meet you where you want to be met because you know what you will provide in a man's life, then you must show them the door. Actually, you won't even be needing to show them the door because they will not even be able to step foot into your palace. What? I want to end on you guys because I know this video was a little all over the place. When I say to you that you are a queen, you best believe I mean it. It is within you. You have the key in your pocket. You cannot say you are a queen and act like a fool. Have a higher purpose for your life, for yourself. I don't know exactly what it is, but that higher purpose is never chasing anything. It is attracting everything. Women all have our inner queen just by connecting to her, by allowing her to be the guiding force in our life, trusting her, trusting the intuition, which is how she communicates to you. You will never have to settle for anything less than you deserve, but we have to know what we are deserving of first. We walk with confidence and knowingness of who we are. Are. All right, you guys, that was enough of my little rant today. I truly hope I spoke some power into you so you can remember who you are as the queen you are. I care about you guys. I love you guys. If you like this video, let me know in the comments down below if you want more types of these videos. Give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.